Good morning and welcome to our online praise and worship of the Good Neighbor Christian Fellowship Church. And to our brothers and sisters, our relatives, friends and classmates, again, thank you for joining us in our worship this morning of April 10, the third Sunday of the month. Before I continue, I would like to request everyone to join me in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, today we thank you for another opportunity to gather together in our homes as we offer our praise and our worship online uh, to you and to express to you, Lord, our gratitude appreciation and thankfulness for the many blessings that you continue to shower on us to our families this morning lord we also ask that uh, you forgive us for our sins and bless us lord from our unrighteousness we thank you lord because of the promise in first john 1 9 that if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from our unrighteousness. This is our hope and this is our assurance that in the name of Jesus, you always forgive us, Lord. When we ask for forgiveness for whatever sins that we commit or we are committing in our life, this morning, Lord, we thank you because of another day that you added to our lives. A day to be thankful, a day to be grateful, and a day to continue loving you and loving people around us. Lord, we again commit to you, our brothers and sisters and friends, for healing for their, from their disease of illness. We pray, Lord, that uh, they will experience the peace that comes from you as they await for their deliverance from whatever sins that are bothering them. Even for our friends and brothers and sisters that uh, continue to need financial resources, Lord, from you, that they can meet the needs of the respective families. We affirm in our hearts that you are our Jehovah Jireh, the God that provides. You are our Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals. This morning, Lord, as we continue with our series on women of virtues, may you again find us ready and excited to learn from your words that will be shared by Pastor Rico to encourage us, challenge us, and change us to live a life of virtues based on Proverbs chapter 31. This morning, Lord, again, we thank you and we praise you in the name of our Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen. Muli pong nasa inyong uh, screen ang mga pangalan ng mga like birthday, nagdiwang like ng uh, kaarawan o anumang uh, uri ng pasasalama sa kanilang buhay. Again, to all of you, we pray that uh, the Lord will continue to bless you and your family. Happy birthday! At kung meron na wedding anniversary, happy wedding anniversary sa inyo na. Alam po ninyo, uh, this Sunday is the beginning of our observance of the Holy Week because today, the whole Christian world celebrates Palm Sunday. Alam po ninyo, ito yung araw na si Jesus Christ together with this with his disciples coming down from Mount Olives 
entered Jerusalem and we call it Jesus triumphant entry into Jerusalem where people gathered along the way laying their hand, their clothes on the ground waving branches from they say palm trees to welcome him and to honor him Kaya po ito ay, uh, this is the first day of the Holy Week until Easter Sunday. So both this Sunday and next Sunday, we commemorate the two triumphs of Jesus entering Jerusalem and rising from the dead. But in between that is the Holy Week where we also remember the death of Jesus Christ on the cross. At alam po ninyo itong uh, triumphant entry of Jesus Christ, ito po ay natala sa apat na Gospels according to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And dyan po sa screen, yung mga reference verses natin. Probably to uh, emphasize the importance of this event, in the ministry of Jesus Christ. In coming to the world, offering his life, dying on the cross for the sins of the world, and rising from the dead, which we uh, call Easter Sunday, the day of resurrection. Kaya po, uh, masyadong significant po sa atin itong linggo nito at yung darating na linggo especially sa Christian world. At sa atin na uh, kumilala at tumanggap kay Kristo bilang ating tagapagbigtas at ating Panginoon. And today also, we will continue with our series on Women of Virtues. Ito po ay nakabase sa chapter 31 ng Proverbs and uh, Pastor Ribo will continue to uh, share to us insights into how we can be Christians of values, particularly women, because we are giving uh, honor and acknowledgement sa kahalagahan po ng bahagi ng kababaihan, hindi lamang sa ating tahanan, hindi sa ating church at sa ating uh, bansa. Alam po ninyo, I don't know with other churches, but uh, sa ating po church, sa Good Neighbor, mas malaki po ang prosyento ng bilang ng kababaihan sa atin. At naniniwala ko na lahat sila ay merong uh, pagnanais na makapaglingkot sa Diyos uh, na merong uh, lalim, may lawak, at nagagamit natin sa mission at sa ministeryo ng Good Neighbor Christian Fellowship. So, I hope you are ready with your uh, writing implements, your ball pen and your notebook. So, you can write yung mga salient uh, or salient features ng uh, message si Pastor Rico today on Women of Virtues. At uh, nandiyan din, din po sa screen ang ating uh, weekly ministry activities. Palagi ko pong pinag-aanyaya sa inyo ito na maduluhan ninyo. Uh, kahit isa sa mga ito ay magiging mahalaga sa amin na dumadalo na makasama kayo sa ating prayer meeting, sa ating Bible study, and of course sa ating online worship. At... Uh, Tapos na po ang ating uh, gawa, paggawa ay sa church. nag na lamang tayo ng uh, go signal from the government na we can have 100% in-person gathering so we can uh, go to church on Sunday para sa ating praise and worship. Huh? Meron po tayong isang kapatid na nag-message sa akin kung tayo daw po ay mag-i-in-person na eh how can they... Uh, participate or attend ang ating pananambahan while they are in other countries and uh, sa ko sa kanya we are looking into uh, whatever means possible para ma-accommodate natin yung in-person worship at ma 
accommodate natin yung ating mga kapatiran sa ibang bansa. And we continue to pray for that. So in the meantime, uh, as we uh, do our present worship, ang aking pong hangarin, ang aking dalangin, maging mabiyaya po sa ating lahat ang ating pananumbahan ngayong umaga. Amen at Amen. <tinyo>